my name's Cass. I teach bookbinding workshops here in Edinburgh and around Scotland and virtual workshops like this as well. I'm really passionate about making books, especially using everyday materials and recycled materials. I like to think that my style of teaching will mean that you can make books around your kitchen table. So I'm not looking to use any big equipment. I'm going to use quite lo-fi tools so that you can get the skills to make books that can be used as anything from sketchbooks to recipe books, gardening journals, um, and give you a lifelong skill that you can come back to again and again. So I prepared this kit for you that gives you an insight into book binding and shares three of my favourite bindings. We're going to start with something fairly simple, so an accordion fold book that basically takes a larger sheet of paper, introduces a series of folds and cuts to create a nice little book that's quite handy for taking around for sketching and we'll also make a nice little slip case for it so that it's got a little jacket to sit into. We're going to do a lovely Japanese stab bound book which is a nice decorative stitched book like this which actually uses flat pages so again this is a really nice one it makes a really lovely sketchbook and it's quite a handy technique to know so that you can use it to stitch together single sheets that you might have already painted or sketched on and these make really nice presents as well so that's our second book and our third book is something a little bit more substantial so this is an exposed bone journal so we are going to use a piece of leather or pleather depending on what you prefer so that gives us the cover and then we're going to create some really decorative pages on the inside so we've got some nice options of paper that you can use and we're also using this lovely flat white paper which is made from recycled coffee cups and it's brilliant for doing sketching, watercolour but also if you like to do some doodling um, or just note taking it's brilliant for that. So we're going to make quite a substantial book with about six signatures in them so that it's going to look like this. It's going to have a nice fold over and I've got a few different options of fastenings that you can do so that you can tie your book together really nicely and even give yourself a nice slot to put your pencil in. If you're anything like me, I'm always losing pens and pencils so that comes in really handy. So at the end of this, you're going to have the skills to make three very different books, um, all of which lend themselves to quite different purposes. So that'll equip you with lots of different skills. I'm really excited to see what you make, so good luck, happy bookbinding. <laughs>